The Great Pyramid of Giza, an enduring marvel, the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing. Built over 4,500 years ago, it's a testament to human ingenuity and sheer determination. But here's a question. If we set out to build the pyramids today with modern technology, how long would it take? The Great Pyramid is made up of 2.3 million stone blocks, each weighing between 2.5 to 15 tons. That's over 5.5 million tons of limestone, 8,000 tons of granite from Aswan, nearly 500 miles away, and 500,000 tons of mortar. That's enough stone to build a 10-foot high wall around France. Before we can even think about lifting a single stone, we have to start with the planning and design. The ancient Egyptians didn't have blueprints or CAD software, but they had a profound understanding of mathematics, astronomy, and geometry. Their design wasn't just a monument to their rulers, it was a reflection of their knowledge and beliefs. So how long would this planning phase take? Even with all our modern technology and expertise, it could take anywhere from one to two years just to finalize the design and prepare the site. And that's before we even start thinking about construction. Managing logistics and the workforce could add several years to the project. Even with advanced management techniques, we'd face unexpected delays, equipment breakdowns, and inevitable challenges of large-scale construction. Next, we face the monumental task of sourcing materials. The ancient Egyptians used limestone, granite, and basalt, some quarried locally, others transported from hundreds of miles away. The sheer volume of stone required for the pyramids is truly mind-boggling. The Sagrada Familia, for instance, has been funded primarily by private donations and visitor ticket sales. A reminder that even the most ambitious projects require time, patience, and perseverance. With all our modern tools, it would likely take three to five years to quarry, transport, and prepare all the stone needed for the pyramid. And that's assuming everything goes according to plan. Now comes the fun part, actually building the pyramid. The ancient Egyptians relied on sheer manpower, using ramps, levers, and brute force to move and lift those massive stones. It's estimated that a workforce of 20,000 to 30,000 laborers worked tirelessly over 20 years to complete the Great Pyramid. It's a monumental task. Even with modern machinery, moving 2.3 million blocks of stone, some weighing up to 15 tons, is no small feat. We'd need an intricate system of cranes, conveyor belts, and precision engineering to ensure each block is placed with the same exacting accuracy that the ancient builders achieved. Here's a fun fact. The corners of the Great Pyramid are so precisely aligned that they differ in length by less than 58 millimeters, less than the width of a human thumb. Achieving that level of precision, even today, would demand extraordinary attention to detail. Even with all our technology, constructing the pyramid would be a slow, methodical process. While we could likely cut the time down compared to the ancient builders, we're still looking at a construction timeline of 5 to 10 years, assuming around-the-clock work and efficiency. And let's not forget the finishing touches. The ancient Egyptians covered the pyramid with smooth, white limestone casing stones, which have since been stripped away. Recreating that smooth, gleaming surface would add another year or two to the project. But building the pyramids wasn't just about moving stone. It was about managing a massive workforce and coordinating an incredibly complex logistics operation. The ancient Egyptians had to house, feed, and organize tens of thousands of workers, and they did it with remarkable efficiency. Today, we'd still need a sizable workforce, though we'd rely more on skilled labor and machine operators than on brute strength. Managing everything from construction schedules to supply chains would be crucial ensuring that materials arrived on time and that the work progressed smoothly. Here's a fun fact. The workers who built the pyramids weren't slaves, as often believed, but skilled laborers who were well-fed and housed in nearby worker villages. Archaeologists have even found evidence of medical care provided to injured workers, an early example of workplace safety. Coordinating such a massive project today would require modern project management techniques, sophisticated software, and meticulous planning. And we can't overlook the impact on the surrounding area. Construction on this scale would disrupt local communities, 
demand extensive infrastructure, and have significant environmental impacts. Given all these factors, managing the logistics and workforce alone could add several more years to the project. Even with today's advanced management techniques, we'd need to account for unexpected delays, equipment breakdowns, and the inevitable challenges that accompany any large-scale construction effort. The logistics and workforce management could easily add another three to five years to the timeline, bringing us closer to our final total. So let's add it all up. We've got one to two years for planning and design, three to five years for sourcing and transporting materials, five to 10 years for construction, and three to five years for logistics and workforce management. That gives us a total of about 12 to 22 years to build a pyramid today, assuming everything goes according to plan. Surprised? While it's certainly faster than the 20 years it took the ancient Egyptians, it's still a monumental task requiring a massive amount of resources, coordination, and determination. But here's something to think about. Even with all our modern technology, building the pyramids today would still be an incredible achievement. We'd be replicating one of the most iconic and enduring symbols of human ingenuity, a structure that has fascinated people for millennia. And just like the original pyramids, our modern version would stand as a testament to what we can accomplish when we set our minds to something truly grand. In the process, we'd also likely learn a great deal about the ancient Egyptians, how they achieved such precision with limited tools, how they organized their workforce, and how they transported those massive stones across the desert. In trying to recreate their work, we'd gain a deeper appreciation for their skills and knowledge, which were far more advanced than we often give them credit for. In the end, the question of how long it would take to build the pyramids today is more than just a thought experiment. It's a reminder of the timeless nature of human ambition. The pyramids weren't just built as tombs, they were crafted as enduring symbols of their builder's legacy. While we might be able to recreate their physical form with modern technology, the true marvel of the pyramids lies in the spirit of their creation, the determination, ingenuity, and the teamwork that made them possible. So, whether it takes 12 years or 22 years, building the pyramids today would be a monumental undertaking, one that would challenge us, inspire us, and ultimately connect us with one of the greatest achievements in human history. If this video got you thinking about the wonders of the ancient world and the challenges of recreating them, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We've got plenty more thought-provoking content on the way, and we'd love for you to join us on the next adventure. In our next video, we'll be exploring another ancient mystery. What if the Colossus of Rhodes was rebuilt today? How would we do it? And what would it mean for our modern world? Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Until then, keep dreaming big, keep exploring the past, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. See you next time.